These are Belizean-born women, Lisa Brannon Williams and Ava Vialdores. Both migrated to the United States many years ago and live in different states. They happened to meet up in Belize when they visited on their vacation and met for the first time with Albert Magdaleno, the man whose cause they've been sending boxes of groceries, medical supplies, household appliances and more to so that he can distribute to the people he lobbies for through his Ladyville Highlights Facebook page. We were lucky today to meet Ava Vialdores, who moved to the U.S. in 1969. She said she discovered Magdaleno's page one year ago and became a donor. I used to scroll a lot on YouTube, and then I saw him. This was maybe about a year ago. Uh, for a year. For, yeah, so what happened, I was planning to come to Belize and um, I just decided, you know what, I got to look him up because he had a couple people on there that was really bad. There was a man with one leg sleeping at the graveyard. Okay. That for me, I didn't like. I thought that was so sad, okay. you know, because he didn't have no family, you know. So I decided, well, I'm coming down here to do some business. Let me just go and meet him. The donors who contribute to the charity effort are like Vialdores. They're hardworking people who simply want to help their fellow humans back home who need it. I love it. I love what he's doing. I love it because people, if there was more people like him, this world wouldn't be the way it is right now, you know. People are human and the way they're treated to not be able to get the help they need, that's not fair, you okay. see. So you've been instrumental for the past year yourself. Yes, what have I, you been doing? Oh, since I came here, I've been helping with taking stuff to all the, you know, the people that are sick. And I didn't have that in mind when I got here. Albert Magdaleno has been on TV before. His page has gotten so popular that the work he engages in consumes all his waking hours and takes him all over Belize, distributing goods to people. He told us that he had to give up his job as a postman and his pension after working with the government for many years for the charity work he now does. But he gets assistance from some of the same donors so he can continue the work. December of last year, I decided, you know what? I want to do what I'm doing full time. I want to give the rest of my life into bringing a smile on other people's face. You I mean, walk, left, pension, gratuity. Yes, I walk, left, everything, because there's no guarantee in life. I have seen, I have seen people say, next year I will get the gratuity, and I watch them drop down dead. Yeah. I watch people get sick and they get the injury. So I say, you know what? Life is short. Let, let me make, do something meaningful in my life. And I walk away from it. Money is not everything. God will provide anyhow. And wow. he does. Every so often, um, somebody would say, Mr. Magdalena, I love the work that you do. And they would slip me something for me, for me. And they would be very, very um, strict. They said, listen to me. This is for not for you to give away. No, this is for you because you also have your, your expenses. I mean, I have to pay internet, water, light, yeah, mortgage, okay. eat. I have, to, I have to live. All right, but thanks to good people, I want to say Mr. Wallace in New York City and several other people who make a monthly contribution to Ladyville Highlights so that I can be able to sustain myself and take care of my bills and gas for on the van. Mr. Elise Gill in New York City just sent me some gas money. Very appreciative of it. But Magdalena could use some volunteers to distribute the goods to people. And it's something that VL Doris appeals for on his behalf. I wish I was here that I could help him more because he's got tons of clothes. When I'm saying clothes, all kinds of, not just clothes, different things that, you know, he needs help with, you know. And if people would, another thing too, volunteer. what volunteer their time to help, you understand? But a lot of time people have motives. They don't want to do anything. They want to, they get paid. And that's not how life is, you yeah. see me, because... They could end up in that same position that these people are in. Reporting for News 5, 
I'm Marian Ali. <laughs>